Modernization of conscience serves as a basis for the people's memory. Its aim is to revive the link of our heroic past with the present and to open brighter prospects for the future. Nusultan Nazarbayev Archaeology is in mind as no other area of expertise. What was before us a hundred years ago, a thousand, a decade and hundreds of thousand years ago? In 2018, in East Kazakhstan, Daniel Akhmetov, the regional Ekim, initiated launching a three-year program for development of scientific and research work in the area of archaeology. Its aim is to preserve historical and cultural heritage of the region. The program is successfully working nowadays. The results of the researches, the discoveries of the unique artifacts of gold, stone, ceramics and other materials are changing the classical concepts of nomadic lifestyle of people living on the fertile lands of Kazakhstan at those times. They confirm the high-level civilization of those times and broaden our knowledge about our ancestors. The scientists have great interest in Kogans, Tumulus burial mound, with ritual burial of royal people, which were generally buried with lots of different objects, like fine jewelry made of precious metals. Тамаша технология болды. Сол кезде көрдіңіз бе? Сонда біздің халқымызды қандай үлкен тамаша терең мәдениеті болған. Наредус со скатоводами. Together with Kettleman, they were geologists who were finding this metal. They were specialists dealing with mine development, specialists who were mining, which means there was a high professional specialization. I am absolutely confident that in the near future our scientists, archaeologists, will make more discoveries that will become a powerful demonstration of the highest level of culture of our ancestors. East Kazakhstan archaeologists are studying and restoring the history of the area based on the researches at the burial valley of the kings, Krogans of Shalikten, Tibagate Pantheon, Yelikesazi, Buddhist temple of Ablakit, Kokentau and Koktubek. The basic method of studying archaeological monuments is excavating. Researchers are exposing cultural layers, removing cubic meters of soil to be able to reveal the priceless findings from the depth of the ages. In 2018, during the archaeological works at the Great Valley of Yelikesazi, surrounded by the mighty circle of the Tabagate Mountains, there were well-preserved remains of a young male found in the Kogan No. 4. The burial of the early Saka Ages is dated the 8th 7th centuries BC, is dated the 8th 7th centuries before Christ. For more precise research and full construction of the appearance of the person, the whole bureau as one piece was extracted from the ground. Не разграблены, не тронутые погребения, что позволяет нам решать ряд научных задач в первую очередь. Во-первых, the non-planted, non-looted burial helps us to solve a number of scientific problems. Firstly, all the objects remain in good condition because they were made of precious metals. We can reconstruct the costume and the look of a person who was a part of that culture, as the skeletal remains are well preserved. Reconstruction in school will help us to shape the historical face of this person, a young man of 17-18 years old, as confirmed by anthropologists. And later, on the base on the DNA of the bones, we shall get very important information for the future historical reconstructions. Это уже хорошо. Потом из костных остатков будем выделять ДНК и будем соответствующие получать информацию, которая нам очень важны будут для исторических реконструкций. This sensational discovery claims to become another golden man, and this assumption is quite justified. The amount of golden goods is quite enormous. There are more than 5,000 pieces. Through the patches with folded loops to be attached to the clothes. 
belts, beading, mirror, and other elements of the fine jewel art. A talk on the neck, the necklace of those times are richly decorated quiver, the tips of the arrows, a dagger and boots trimmed with golden beads. All these are the evidence of the high status of this young man. The approximate number of Kogans located at the Yalikasazi Pantheon is around 200. Therefore, we can assume that the new discoveries are ahead. Kaktabek According to the scientists archaeologists, the eastern part of Tobagate is located in a special area. The fertile lands of Kaktabek are good for cattle racing and agriculture. There is almost no snow during winter time. Throughout centuries, starting from the Saka up to Tox ages, people were living on these lands. Therefore, there are a lot of small and big kurgans around. There are four big kurgans of the Saka ages, dated the 6-5 centuries before Christ, in front of us. I assume that these are royal burials. While excavating the kurgan, we found a stone tomb, but unfortunately it was planted. We expect to find precious objects in another kurgan. In general, we think we found cultural monuments of the Kolajorka Yusin. Professor Back in 2000s, we assumed that the culture of Yusin is not limited to the Jitisu area. There is a historical proof, based on Chinese sources, that Yusin tribes got split, and a part of them moved to the Bagate area. The found evidences confirm these assumptions. Burrell. The Burrell Valley of the Kings is a place that strikes you with its greatness and peacefulness. At a height of 1,200 meters above sea level, the low clouds, like smoke, cover the tops of the mountains and go down to the mountain foot as if they are to show the presence of divine beings. Here is what we accomplished on the territory of the museum preserve within these three years. Firstly, the three allied monuments of the Saka Ages were excavated. The so-called Pazaric Ages dated the 4th three centuries before Christ, dated the 4th three centuries BC. There is a Kogan number 2, a Kogan number 9, and a Kogan number 5. Above these Kogans, we are planning to build museum facilities in the future. And secondly, for the first time in Kazakh historical science, we managed to discover a new layer of culture between the earlier Turks and Hanik Pazaric cultures, which is a Bin Zhuzhan monuments. To define the boundaries of spreading of the Sabin monuments, we set the layout for the three big excavations. The main excavation was increased by 20 meters. The layout for two excavations were set at 20 meters. This year we provided around 20 new monuments for scientific research, six of which are under study. During implementation of the program of development of scientific and research work in archaeology in Eastern Kazakhstan region during 2016-2018 years, there were hundreds of new artifacts found that enlarged not only the archives of the East Kazakhstan museums, but also the archives of the Barrel Museum Preserve. The biggest achievement is setting up an open-air museum. The tourists and students from the region, from different parts of the country and abroad, are coming here to touch the history of the Real Valley of the Kings. In archaeology, it is Knowledge is not the only criteria for science, it also needs emotions. When a person comes to a new place, he feels the connection with this place. 
No video can express the same picture compared to one you see with your own eyes. The first impressions build some thoughts, followed by analysis, and then pictures of different places like mosaics become one big panorama of the world. Может быть, мысли, может быть, какой-то уже анализ ситуации, когда картинки из разных мест начинаются из мозаичной какой-то картины получаться большая-большая панорама всего того мира. Nowadays, archaeologists in East Kazakhstan region are equipped with the newest advanced tools that allow for easy and unambiguous detection of the burial sites and excavate on the areas where the monuments of the past are sure to be revealed. The information received from ground penetrating radar allows reconstructing the look of the monument without excavating, and the drone photo shooting presents the overview map on the pictures for understanding a general view. During the last few years, Kazakhstani scientists archaeologists carried out a tremendous amount of work. The interest to which attracts many beyond our country. The cooperative research together with foreign scientists made a great contribution to the global archaeology in general. I have applied and obtained a permission to participate in the international archaeological excavation in the Bagatay region from Mr. Jumataev. Participating in excavating works, I could continue my research work. Our work here in Kokintau just is about to make the map of whole area and another in the future if some archaeologist or someone else came here in order to excavate or discover what was how people were living in the past here from bronze age or golden age it should be easy for them to find the place where they are looking for or where they are interested in this is what we are doing here Kukintau. the geography of archaeological researches is expanding each year the mountain mass of Kakintau, just a hundred kilometers away from Smei, became another foothold for new discoveries. The scientists of the Shakarim State University are working here. Kakintau is rich with various archaeological sites. Within this small area there are kogans, tumulus with ridges, necropolis, settlements, fences, petroglyphs and barbells. We found allied objects, but together with them we are studying the ordinary ones. Allied objects are providing such amazing materials related to us, ornament arts, jewel arts of the tribes which reveal the technologies of those times. The ordinary monuments are interesting because they are greater in numbers and we can study which of the ritual burial prevailed. It seems like there was a large concentration of tribes living here in different times and there are many monuments here as well. It is obvious we will get the knowledge of the main periods of ancient society development, specifically using materials of Kakentau. The ancient citizens of these places were quite familiar with metallurgy and pottery. There was strong trading activity and exchange between neighboring tribes. There were caravan routes passing through this area, forming Silk Way on the Irtish River, across the Irtish River, towards South Siberia. My specialization uh, is in pottery, ceramics, Bronze Age ceramics, and part of what I want to do with the, the pottery in general, uh, Kokontau, but in general also, is to look at how people lived their day-to-day -day life. What was their everyday life like? So pottery is one of the most common artifacts that we find. It preserves better than anything else. Kate for it being uh, nominated for a UNESCO heritage site in order to have that protection and that recognition because it's a very central and ancient uh, part of the societies of Eastern Kazakhstan in general. And it would be great to see that recognized and protected. Kazakhstan is a country rich not only in natural resources, but also has a true historical and archaeological heritage. Together with that, throughout the centuries, the Silk Way was a crossing point for various people, cultures and confessions. Ablaukid 
the Ablaukid Buddha complex became famous due to its template library. During Peter the First times, the manuscripts written in golden and silver letters on the blue and blackish paper were delivered from the Ablaukid monastery. Peter sent them to the Paris Academy of Science. Those were the first manuscripts that drew attention of the Western European scientists to the Tibetan literature. И вот тогда-то впервые в 1922 году в парижской газете, как только называлась «Газете», for the first time, in 1622, one of the Paris newspapers called Gazette published information about works at Blaukit and about manuscripts that were under study by French researchers. Nowadays, historians, art historians, particularly one of the leading Tibet researchers, Mr. Yampolska, are involved in works at Blaukit. We got a tremendous amount of materials that require conceptualization. At the end of the year, a trilingual book about cultural heritage of Altai is to be published. Within this time, we collected many manuscripts, separate papers, those which were omitted or lost at those times. But now this archive of Tibet and Arad documents is stored at the East Kazakhstan Local History Museum. And of course, the material culture. We received information about construction materials. And of course, it is necessary to mention significant amount of tiles decorated with paintings, circle tiles decorated with mystical creatures, the remnants of the rich temple interior, the heads of the dragons, heads of the Buddhist goddesses, ceramics and coins. We understand that this is a heritage of Kazakhstan. We are the successors of civilization that was connected with Buddhism, spread on the territory of Kazakhstan and Altai region. Despite of the successful completion of this three-year program, the work on the development of the scientific research in archaeology in East Kazakhstan region will continue. In the future, there are more global projects, bigger plans and construction of the new historical complexes and museums. The construction of the historical archaeological affiliate in the Kaban Bay settlement will be finished. The new sarcophagus is planned to be built in Burel. Another sarcophagus will be built in Shilakti. And within three or four years, here in Uskaminagorsk city, we will build an amazing historical archaeological museum of the East Kazakhstan region. Sometimes, when chasing new technologies within daily routing, we forget the principles, true spiritual and moral values. That is why our great contemporary Nusultan Nazarbayev, in his program article Ruhani Janguri Look into the Future, Modernization of Conscience, appeals to the people of Kazakhstan to revive their interest to their land, the local history and sacred places. Sacred places are the revered monuments of the historical heritage, architectural mezzanines, natural landscapes, places with historical values related to significant political events. You only need to touch the sacred places, breathe that air and immerse yourself into atmosphere, and you start to feel how the unknown inner forces can feel and change your consciousness. The researchers revealed that the sacred areas store the key values of people and transfer the huge amount of traditional knowledge from generation to generation. The open, unique relevance of consciousness that is so needed for our children, the successes who will create the future of independent Kazakhstan.